Something really interesting in this uh, standard library is the multi-threading. So you can actually, it's, it's a programming concept. It's to, uh, to have um, a synchronous, so to say, um, access to and uh, processing, uh, let's say, um, you want to access, let, let's say you want, to, uh, let's see in this one, for example, it's a nothing uh, zip. We want to, uh, to do some compression asynchronously. So here we really, uh, if we want to do something asynchronously, we have to, uh, let's say, inherit from uh, the, this threading thread class. And also it has to have a threading thread in it. In it. So here we are the, do, doing this asynchronous zip and we are running this, uh, this is uh, the method. And we run the zip, we zip in this method and here we say, okay, we, you know what? We want in the background, we want to uh, assign, uh, we want to, to do, we want to zip this in this and we, we start. And okay, we have the main program continues to run in the foreground, and we have also background to join. When and here you, you like you can you can wait for the background task to finish. And here and here after that you you uh, this line will wait till this is this finish. Actually, that's that's the thing. Instead, what what's happening is that. We can start it, we can start the program of compressing, whatever, and here we say, okay, the main program here, we can start, we can continue to run in the, this program, for example, it, that can take a lot of time, for example, uh, that's why this multi-threading multi is really important, it's sometimes your program is, let's say you want to, to, to compress a lot of files, and uh, with that as well, you want to do some other things. Instead of waiting that all your files ha are being compressed, you can execute this this snippet of code. And maybe after this, uh, let's say after this, uh, uh, you want to uh, to make sure that this part of code is done synchronously. Uh, this is async. Uh, synchronously and you want this part of code done uh, done after after actually both of the programs have uh, been executed done after both executed so this is how to syn synchronize and uh, your your code and we call it like multi threading it's like um I would like explain it just with this example. If you want to learn more about it, I would recommend really to to brush up a bit on uh, the programming, um, yeah, the programming uh, basics. But this is how how mostly it works. Sometimes you want to have uh, some we in programming language would say some concurrent access to either some. Uh, some uh, let's say uh, resource or whatever that sometimes can take a lot of time like like for example it's it can be really used in scrapping data for example scrapping data uh, let's say uh, to scrap a website if you do it like sequence uh, sequentially without uh, like uh, and not multi thread in it um, let's say uh, you will wait every time till the patch loads and uh, getting the data and uh, extracting the data and like in this program it's I would say like there is some bottleneck for example if you have some internet issue or um, or you have some fast internet or whatever if you do it sequentially, sequentially these three uh, steps they would, I would say that it will take a lot of time. That's what I experienced. And for example, one of the solution to, to make it really fast is to do it with concurrence, uh, with, conc uh, with concurrency and with threading. And 
I got uh, really fast results and to do it like synchronously. Uh, and also like consuming, for example, the links instead of doing it uh, sequentially, it's both to, to do them like, uh, it has a lot to do, uh, there are some, I will just do some opening for later uh, search from your side if you would like. Uh, there is the concept of having workers and uh, those threads you can open like uh, workers on each thread each thread can be associated that's this threading it can be associated to a worker and those workers can go do the job independently from uh, the program like you would you would start you would start them in the background and they do whatever and there is a, uh, when they all have done their job you can whatever do whatever so this is basically the this concepts of uh, of trading so also if you're preparing for some job interviews or uh, you're looking for a job it would be a topic of uh, of questions